roller. <laughs> it's dinosaur week! <laughs> it's Seraphon! Woo! Dinosaur week, baby! <laughs> Here we are again with another video. It's another painting video which we haven't done in so very long, but I feel like it's a very special occasion. The dinosaurs are back and they are back in a big way. Um, for those that uh, know us, um, we are very, very interested in the new Seraphon range. And nobody has much of, as much of a nerdism for dinosaurs as you do. There is something that lights up inside me that I can't describe uh, when I talk about dinosaurs and um, I feel like when kids are young specifically boys not to be sexist but specifically boys um, they're into dinosaurs and there is a certain age where that drops off you mean like play painting little plastic men yeah I suppose that too um, yeah I never stopped giving a beep about, <laughs> about dinosaurs so here I <laughs> Um, we, I, I think the masks need to be explained. We didn't go out and buy these. Me and my wife bought these uh, for our wedding. Uh, we didn't have a dinosaur themed wedding. I'm just super into dinosaurs and these are really fun for like pictures and stuff. They're, they're really fun. You mean you didn't cool. have Warhammer at your wedding? No, I chose dinosaurs over Warhammer. Warhammer, I feel like it's a bit of a weird one. I didn't really want Warhammer at my wedding. Dinosaurs, yes. Um, yeah, I recently got, well I say recently, at the beginning of the year I started like a new year, new army and I got into Soul Blight Grave Lords and doing vampires and stuff and that was really fun and then they went and released the goddamn refresh for Seraphon. I... <sighs> the mini the miniatures are... Everything is fire. Gorgeous. Like, these Saurus Warriors, I mean, they're just black at the minute. But just look at the level oh. of fire. I, I mean, obviously like the, yeah, as, as Kieran just said, they're just base coated but... The level of detail is phenomenal. Like, the, the old range was like 20 plus years old. That, Good grief. <laughs> yeah, they're just super, super fun. Um, they're beautiful. And if you love dinosaurs, they are next level. Um, the only difficult thing is wondering what to paint them. Like, no. I, I, to, we could lead into our, our schemes that we're going to go for. Um, I, I like the blue. Mm. Um, I don't like the Blastoise cartoony level that's the box art yeah um so i'm going to try and go with something a bit more dark i guess dark but Ooh, not lose dark. the blueness um yeah i feel like the seraphon um especially the saurus warrior well, to be fair the skinks as well i guess um they are very blue the blocks are the blocks nailed it box art the blocks are yeah, <laughs> blastoise and uh, the um the box art colors they really work but they are kind of cartoony um I suppose it's trying to make your, yeah, make them work for you. Um, I have gone with a completely different route, as is my way, I guess. Um, I I'm have... sure it's going to be covered in streaking grime, I'm sure. Oh, for sure, undoubted. Um, there is something about Seraphon, especially the new range, because they're a lot buff. But uh, that's the thing as well. I should really talk about the Saurus. The Saurus warriors are jacked up. They. Oh. Honey percent Roid bros, gym bros for sure. And I feel like that's a real theme in this army. You have like the geeks who are like the skinks and the frogs and stuff. And then you have the gym rats, which are the saurus warrior. A saurus warrior. <laughs> the saurus How warriors. Now brown cow. Saurus warriors. Um, Bacchidus. Um, and um, yeah, they look phenomenal. So I wanted to make them scary because I think they should be. Like I think dinosaurs are meant to be a bit terrifying yeah. they're gigantic lizards and like if you take these as a comparison so for example i've got my uh vampire lord hero just here let's uh figure this one out yeah the size comparison is massive this guy is an absolute lumbering brute um whereas the vampire is a skinny emo boy so he needs to be a bit scarier he needs to be like a bit of a brute um so for my scheme anyway i wanted to do maybe like a dark black charcoal scales uh, with some like red OSL in the eyes maybe um, sort of a coalesced vibe sort of a starborn vibe I'm not sure which one I want to go for yet but either way I'm going to be winging it yeah. totally winging it and on that note let's get painted <laughs> how are you starting off your Saurus Warriors Saurus Warriors <laughs>
I'm trying to really not be distracted by my hat because it's really, it's really <laughs> funny. As you'll have seen from our intro, this is this is fun. Absolutely. What was my message to you earlier? Make sure you bring the make sure you bring the T-Rex out of it so we can play dress up. <laughs> make sure we can dress up as dinosaurs, please. I'm going to be starting with. I want to get some purple tones. Um, we do actually have a test model that we didn't show. This is what I was going for. Can't really see it on. Bring it back a bit. This lighting setup. Um, yeah, a bit better. Nice. You can kind of see there's some purple shades in there. Uh, so I've got four Saurus warriors here that I'm going to base um, in a purple. Purple. This I'm going to be using. So I'm going with a purple base color, just completely over every area. Um, skin, uh, not being too neat. Which is your favourite Jurassic Park movie? Uh, the first one is the undoubted favourite, for sure. Um, I feel like it's really hard to beat the original. Um, I also don't know why people, so many people hate on Lost World, Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3. I feel like the second one is a better movie. That's a movie, baby. Um, a movie. Movie um, than the third one. But I really like Jurassic Park 3. There is a real soft spot in my head. In my head? In my heart. Now. <laughs> There's a real soft spot in your head if you like Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Especially the bit in the raptor in the airplane where he goes, Alan. Um, that's really funny. It also, look, this mask has gone full dirt. It really... <laughs> come back for the uh, the latest Chris Pratt one they did and it how was bad, how bad was it um it was awful actually awful <laughs> what are you what are you doing to your source warriors you didn't tell you didn't tell the lovely people I didn't uh, so I'm doing like so as you can see here I'm just doing sort of like a dry brush over everything of Mechanicus standard grey um, I want to try and keep it as dark as possible um, I don't know what classic this is. you I know just dark and dingy um, my only worry is the skin on the inside so I might find a lighter grey and um, do a little dry brush on the inside just to try and highlight some of those um, skin bits Games Workshop this year went, right, okay, so we're doing like a full refresh for uh, 10th edition for 40,000. Um, how are we going to be able to sell the Age of Sigma stuff? Dinosaurs! And they just went, how about we refresh Seraphon? And they went, oh yeah, of course, let's print money. Yeah, sure. Um, and you know what? I'm, I'm here for it because it's phenomenal. And They must have lined up that release and it was just like dollar dollar bill sale. Yeah, they really have. They were like, how about we have an amazing summer? And it's like the beginning of the financial year as well. So they just went, oh, beginning of the financial year, let's start with the Seraphon box, start with loads of re refreshes, um, and then we'll go again. And I have a feeling that they'll do the, um, what are the other one called? Uh, Flesh Eater Courts, I think they'll do later in the year as well. Not allowed. Um, why? Because I end up with them. So <laughs> I, I, really, I really like them. Gonna, I really like the zombie dragon. You're gonna oh the terror guys. You're gonna you're gonna end up with multiple uh Sigma armies then, my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, so next up I'm gonna be doing some Dawnstone on the inside of the bodies just here. So it's only gonna be a slight difference in colour. Um but I think it's gonna really help in the grand scheme of things. Um just just separate so that skin. I'm, I'm still trying to get this base coat of um, Zerus Purple down. Yeah, my Seraphon have gone full Randall from, uh, from Monster, Monster Zink. Zink. Although, to be fair, my test model looks exactly like Sully. Yeah, it does. It's all that uh, blue and purple. It looks really cool, though. I do really like the blue and purple. Yeah. I'm just disappointed that you're not wearing a T-Rex mask. <sighs> Would you like me to wear it again? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I could take mine off. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we're doing? We're doing shifts. <laughs> her, der, der. <laughs> that is a dr that's a drunk dinosaur. It really is. <laughs> Are you having fun fun playing dress up? Absolutely. Yeah. I uh, I just really like that when they're in this position, like I can make it laugh. <laughs> so you've done I'm still base coating and you've like finished. Dry brushing is king. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to do. What I'm going to try and do is maybe some black stripes. Did you play Lego Jurassic World? 
I did play Lego Jurassic World. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a Jurassic Park game, <laughs> chances are I've played it. <laughs> I'm surprised your wife let you have um, dinosaur things at your wedding. Well, to be fair, like the I think the main rule whenever you're getting married to a white woman is that the uh, wedding has to be tasteful and Instagrammable. So uh, <laughs> we um, obviously made a compromise on certain aspects of the wedding, which is like absolutely fine. Like totally willing to do that. Um, but Except that, you needed something nerdy there. Well, yeah, I think it's just like a little bit of like me there, and I think like obviously like there were some other bits there as well, but. When it came to like members of your family, like like my family. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, Other things of me, I want my nerdy stuff there. I want, yeah, I want, I Not want my friends dinosaurs. and family. Yeah. I want my. Uh, fine, I won't take my friends and family, but you can't take my dinosaurs. If anybody wants to invite Kieran and I to your themed wedding, where we can dress up, we're in. You know what? I just thought I thought like if we ever get invited to, like fancy dress parties, like, all, we could go as so the... many like dynamic duos. <sighs> I went, there was a fancy dress I did for New Year's a few years ago. I think it was just before COVID. Was it just before? Yeah, just before COVID. Um, and it was like a superhero New, uh, New Year's party. And um, I went as Harley Quinn. Um, so I had like super short shorts, fit, fishnet tights. And the funniest thing about it is we walked in and there were like maybe three other women that had obviously worked really hard on their outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and you just wrote the top and like... And I went around, I made it my mission. So a few of them went with their boyfriends or partners or whatever who were dressed as the Joker. So the whole night I was running around stealing Jokers from Harley Quinn's. <laughs> the best one I ever did is I, I dressed up as Darth Maul. Oh, but I did, the, I did the face paint and it looked really good. Um, but it got to the point that I was like, I'm never going to top that. So the, the year after that, I painted my face as Hello Kitty. <laughs> How are you getting on, sir? I have some... Randalls. Randalls? Oh. In the light. Oh, look at that purple boy. I'm just waiting for that to dry and then I'm going to start by dry brushing um, Temple Guide Blue. Sacred so It's, it's going to be like a no, like almost like a mixture between a dry brush and an overbrush across all of the skin and scales um, whilst retaining quite a bit of that purple. Um, so I've done the black stripes and I don't think it's worked. So so that I can't see in the it's it's too faint. Yeah, you could do it maybe a bit more pronounced, but I th I think the idea is cool though. Yeah, I don't know whether it's making it, it's making <gasps> you know what it could do. What? So if you do thick the black thick and then do little bits of red on the inside. Ah, uh, like a red streak instead of a black. Yeah, but inside it. the black. Yeah, try it. As you can see, this is a, this is not a planned video. This is no, a it really isn't. Completely organic. Like, watch me paint, all week. Watch me paint this badly. Oh, it's also worth noting that at the time of recording, we we were over a thousand subscribers. Woo! Look at us. One thousand of you people like. You to like to watch us do stuff, <laughs> do stuff <laughs> like this. <laughs> You know what I think we should do? If we ever get to 10,000, I think we should do an hour painting challenge in a whole T-Rex outfit. You know what? Book it. Right now. Book it. And you gotta subscribe if you want to see us try and paint a whole miniature in an inflatable costume. Right, so this is the moment of truth. I'm putting... It puts the lotion on the skin. And by lotion, I mean Temple Guard Blue. Is that... Too many, do you reckon? No. Should I have made them thicker? Make them more like... No, because I, I think if you... If you well, you could tie them up, up with the black and I think that'll look quite nice. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. As you can see, I'm just essentially buffing this Temple Guard Blue over all of the scales to give... Um, to build up that blue colour. <laughs> Remember black eyed peas were a thing? Yeah, I do. Are they still a thing? I don't know. I'm not into pop music. <laughs> Apart from Taylor Swift, maybe. <laughs> love oh, it. everybody likes a bit of Tato. Yeah, I love Taylor Swift. I don't know what it is with Taylor Swift, but she just gets it. <laughs> just gets it. That, that's, that's, a, that's a short there. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I don't know what Taylor Swift. You just get it. Yeah, it's very cool. With uh, the red scales on it. Thanks for your contribution. 
I'll take all of the Instagram credit for that. What do we reckon? You can't really see it. Uh, Crikey, that's a big dino. Yeah, sort of. Sort of can see it. Oh, that's a bit better. Yeah. Sort of happy. Sort of. Still a long way to go, though. Still a long way to go. What's your, what's your favourite dinosaur, then? Uh, I feel like that's a really difficult question to ask. <laughs> or answer, sorry, I should say. Um, if we're talking Jurassic Park, then it's Velociraptors. Um, they are legit. I have got a tattoo on my arm of a raptor. Can't get it in focus properly. There, that's fine. So like a Velociraptor and then a the little bit of amber there. I love Jurassic Park, that's why it's on my arm. Um, so yeah, uh, Velociraptor for Jurassic Park for sure. Um, normal dinosaurs, I suppose, without any context. I really like, um, like Baryonyx and Spinosaurus. They are great, they're very, very cool. Anything that can swim and then roam on the land, both of which can mess you up, that's sick. Like me. Yeah, absolutely. This, you know what, whenever <laughs> I look at you and go, I, I think you could be a baryonyx if you wanted to be. Right. Do you know was really funny? In our Instagram thing, you were like you referred to me as little Kieran. I'm not little. You're just <laughs> you're just so big. I'm not short. Like if you ever see me in person, I'm not a short man. I just you make me look like a short man. To me, you are short. <laughs> what do you think of that? That works so well, doesn't it, with the purple undertone? That's so cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, so I'm just going to move across and do this on all of them. I might go over this red after I've done everything, like after the streaking grime and everything else, with like maybe some like, red ink and really make some of those red scales pop. I think that would be really cool. What's your favourite dinosaur? I don't know enough about dinosaurs that, to have a favourite one. That's crazy, surely you can have a favourite. The T-Rex that eats the guy off the toilet in Jurassic Park 1. You know what, there's nothing wrong with it. Rate right it. Yeah. I remember when I was a kid, um, we were going to watch Jurassic Park and my mum was terrified that that was going to like scare us. <laughs> <laughs> we just laughed. <laughs> yeah. Maybe she has like, some irrational like parent fear of, oh my god, my children are going to be scared to go to the toilet because yeah. the T-Rex is going to eat them. Yeah, that that was yeah, really funny. And also stupid on his part. Like, I know, I'm going to lock myself in a wooden hut. <laughs> and go for a number two. Yeah. Just hearing the noise outside, like, this is fine. <laughs> this is absolutely fine. Do you remember Digimon? Yeah, man. This scheme is reminding me of a Digimon, and I can't remember what it was called. The blue one. Like the starter one. Like the wolf one. I want to say Pakumon, but I don't think that's right. Argumon was the yellow one. Agumon, yeah, that's was, it. Was the, no, he was the little yellow and one. And he turned into... He was like the little dinosaur one, wasn't he? The little, yeah, little the orange one. one. Yeah, that's it. I remember watching the Digimon movie, I think, in the cinema when I was a kid. And I really liked it. Um, but then I remember going to school being like, Oh, have you guys seen Digimon? And they'd be like, No, we like Pokemon, you nerd. And I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That's, that's what we need to do a marathon of. What's that? The Pokemon films. Yeah. What's well, the just the first two, because the rest, they went a bit of a Shut your ass. Pokemon 3 was great, the one with Entei and all the unknown. That was so good. I've only ever seen the first Pokemon film. Massive Pokemon nerd that I am. My, my mum <laughs> refused to take me to the cinema to see them. That and... Really? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Um, probably rightly, because she probably had no interest in watching... Animal cruelty. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I remember my mum loved watching Pokemon with us. I say loved. She, <laughs> she said tolerated she, it. She said she loved it. I think that's because she, maybe she just loved her children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this is great. I love Pikachu. I just hate you. <laughs> Ten year old me's worst one was do you remember Yu Gi Oh! Pyramid of Light? And you got the cards if you went to see it in the cinema. Everyone at school had the cards and I didn't have them because I couldn't go and see the film. See, I only got into Yu-Gi-Oh when I was like... 25. 
Yeah, no, I'm not even joking. It was really late. Like, I think I watched the anime when I was like 18, 19. I remember at school, like, I was so... You activated my trap uh, card! Blue eyes, white dragon! Yeah, I... Yeah, so I was, like, really late to the party. And I remember in school, people moving on really fast from, like, on my trends. And I, me just being really annoyed. I, I was just like, what? I was like, I've just spent so much money and so much time getting my Charizard to level 100 on Pokemon Silver. <laughs> How dare you change? <laughs> Remember Beyblade? Beyblade, yeah, that is something I did get behind. I love Beyblade. Yeah. It's the stupidest fad ever. Yeah. Spinning tops that would crash into each other. And do you know what? I used to be really annoyed that like an animal didn't climb out of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll drive spinning, that's a good trick. Um, yeah, there was... I remember being in like the playground in primary school, like, why is Dronza not coming out of my spinning top? <laughs> this isn't what's on the show. Where do you stand on Dragon Ball Z? Love it. Dragon Ball was my favourite anime as a kid. Loved it. Um, I've watched Super. I've watched all the Dragon Ball Super movies. I've watched all the Dragon Ball Z movies. It's it's sick. I love it. I'm, I'm not a fan. I don't like that it takes three episodes to summon a power. There's like half an hour of screaming. It is very, very brave of you to say something so oh, no. eloquently and say something so wrong at the same time. Speaking of anime... How have you got on with Neon Genesis Evangelion? Haven't watched it. <laughs> now that is a decisive subject. I haven't watched it. I'm so Please, people in the comments <laughs> that so have watched Evangelion, leave a comment telling Kieran why it is the greatest anime ever. It's like Grown Up Gundam. Grown Up Gundam. How are you getting on with your dry brushing? They're all four down. All four. You can kind of see the effect starting to build up there. Yeah, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go northern blue. Northern blue. Okay, this is working out so well, or well so far. Uh, so we've got the red scales down. I've sort of blocked them in slightly with uh, the black on the edge of them as well. It doesn't look very prominent yet. I I'm just gonna put on some. Uh, lead belcher on all of the metallic bits here. Yeah, I started playing. Um, I rediscovered um, Switch Sports this weekend. <laughs> I absolutely love it. There is something so so great about going online and smashing somebody at tennis. <laughs> Being like, <laughs> there is something that just I'm just I know that it's probably a child on the other end. And they're like, they've just maybe just bought a Switch or just got a Switch for their birthday. And they've got Switch Sports and they're like, oh, I can't wait to play this game. And I come along, I'm like, bang, bang. Right, yeah. I'm not going to lie, that says a lot about your character, I think. It really does. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of cool with the silver. I think it would look better as the um, the bronzy look that would, not bronze. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, off camera, what were we talking about before? We talked about lots of things off camera. The, the but... yellow tinge, what do we call it? Brass. Oh, brass, yeah. Brass, I think it would look cooler in brass. Your um, classic contrast. The classic contrast method. I'm also trying to train my brain that these don't have to look as good as I can paint them. Yeah, because these are just the fun tester models. Well, I'm trying to train my brain to not be like that in general with painting. Otherwise, I'm never. There's so many models I want to paint. I'm never going to get to paint if I try and paint everything to the best who's, of my ability. Whose theory was that that we were talking about? Who does that on the regular? That's, like, that's, that's Peachy's philosophy. Peachy's philosophy. I guarantee Peachy probably doesn't watch this show, but... He might do. He might do. Do you like the hats, Peachy? If you do, leave a comment, because we no, like I, you. I, I, in one of his recent videos, I really resonate. He was like, I can paint to heavy, me uh, to heavy metal style. Yeah. I just don't want to because it takes so much time to get there, and there's so many miniatures I want to paint. And I was like... That's me. Yeah, respect it. I feel like I'm a big advocate of painting things well, but easy. Like, I love to cut corners. Like, if there's a way that I can do it that's easier than the hard way, then I will always pick it. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter what it is. I'm like, Every, like, one of your uh, school teachers is like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he absolutely did. Um, yeah, no, I, I think there's something about 
but the the heavy metal scheme I think is I think is great and I think it's it's fine, but when Shrieking Grime does all the work for you in like a second, then obviously I'm picking that. Okay, so you'll see just here that I finished the metallics on the Seraphon Dude. Um, so signing in here. Uh, so I've got all the lead belcher bits covered and it's fine. It's working its way, working its way around. Sort of happy with it so far. I don't know how sold I am on the scheme. Um, I think the thing is when it comes to doing anything with like streaking grime or anything like that, this is st the ugly phase lasts for a long time. Um, so yeah. we will get to the point where I will be happy, hopefully. But at the moment, it's just not now. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I've got to the stage where it's not gonna focus um, and you can't really, you can kind of see in there mm. the, what I'm going for. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to give it an all over shade of Drakenhof Nightshade just to bring out some of those um, skills. The gappy gaps. The gappy gaps. But essentially, my plan for this is to do an all over shade of Drakenhof Nightshade <clears throat> and then go back, which I've, what I've just dry brushed is the Sky Blue from AK. Um, I'll probably go back in and do another lighter highlight of that, maybe. Let's we'll see how it looks. Um, and get this Drakenhof and put a brush full of water in it just because Drakenhof's quite a um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Words. It's quite a pronounced shade, I think, isn't it? It's quite dark. I don't think I've ever used Drakenhof Nightshade. Is that the purple one? No, that's uh, Drooky Violet. Oh, I see. Then no, I've never used it. Yeah, I think it was right. When I say I, I mean you. Um, this colour does look pretty, pretty good. Much punch out of that blue, but it is dark darkening it down so it looks less like Blastoise. Cool. So, as I was saying, um, so my camera video has died uh, where you can see it just in front of me, um, but we have got all of the brass bits on there all looking pretty good. Um, I'm dead chuffed with that actually. So I'm going to do all the threads and stuff that's on it next. Um, I might do the, um, what else have we got on there actually? Uh, the black claws and to be fair that might be it after that because I think I'm going to do all the face paint and maybe some of like the Mayan markings afterwards after the um, yeah, after the streaking ground. But yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Chuffed. Yeah, Drakenhof has just give, it's just brought the scales out of it. I'm quite I'm quite happy with that with thin Drakenhof. Yeah, that's really cool. That's, so that's what we've gone from and to. Oh yeah, no, that really works. So you can see, potentially, just gone. Just brought some of that depth in the scales back. Oh my God, I just realised who you are. Who am I? You're Ross from Friends. <laughs> Just because I'm super into dinosaurs. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but imagine if you could have a job with them. Yeah. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a paleontologist. Uh, Rune Lord Brass to just block in these metallic details. Um, so this is like the metal on the shield, um, with little bits of armour, and his uh, stylish bracelets. Stylish bracelets. Let me look in. Yeah, it's cool. That's cool. Don't know if you can see that. Sort of. To be fair, it looks exactly the same. Oh no, it doesn't. We've got all the threads and stuff done as well. I think it's ready for a streaking grime bath. Um, the problem with streaking grime though is it takes ages to dry. Um, so I don't know how much of that we'll get to see in this video. Um, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, chuffed. Okay, right, okay, it's streaking ground time. Uh, I'm going to be plonking it all over the miniature. Commonly referred to as liquid talent. Liquid talent, absolutely right. Look at that lovely paint job that you've just ruined. Ruined? I think not, <laughs> sir. But you don't even let it dry. Uh, no, so it doesn't need to dry totally. You're only taking like the top sort of layer off. Yeah. 
And plus, as like as I mentioned before, like whenever you're using streaking grime, like I, I feel like the real bonus comes when you're doing um, the bits afterwards. So like if you're adding any glowy bits, for example, or you're like adding maybe some like battle damage or maybe some like little highlights or metallics and stuff, um, that's when it really really shines through, um, and you can get some amazing little um, contrasts on there because you're just dealing with um, darker color schemes than you were before, so it makes it look even punchier, which is awesome. It looks really good on the on the metallics. Yeah, it does. I like that a lot. Well, I feel far better about what I painted this time than the last time we did a painting challenge. <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. Just for some nostalgia, you know, because if that's the thing the YouTube channel, I've never got, I've not touched Fabius Bill since. <sighs> R.I.P. Poor Fabius. Yeah, these are looking great, by the way. What are you using? Is it just ruined old brass? Just ruined old brass. Then I'm going to give it a wash of Agrax. Yeah. Um, and then I'll probably fill in like the fields in there. What um, are you doing? What colour are you doing on the inside of the swords? Grey. Grey, nice. Like a stone, um, and I'll. Sure. Like some just some chip marks. Yeah, it makes me laugh. Like I painted up three, thinking that I was going to do three in this time, and shock, horror, like oh, you can't really tell with this lighting, um, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, no, I've just stuck with the one in the end, um, which I'm chuffed with. I've just. I've got four here. Hmm. And the blue, the only thing I want to do extra to the blue is, an, is as I said earlier, is a lighter highlight of um, dry brush of that northern blue, uh, that, no, not northern blue, the sky blue from AK again. Mm. Um, and then I will do some classic like dots, dot yeah. highlights with um, blue horror. Just to, only on the scales though, mm. just to bring out some like the sharp spines and stuff. Yeah, I get you. We were saying earlier though, weren't we, that we've seen. We've seen people um, individually highlight each scale. Yeah, that's just that's a, that's a whole different kettle of fish to me. Um, I mean, I, I guess if you're really taking your time with these, I mean, like the ones you've seen, they look absolutely wicked. Yeah, that, that's uh, the other thing, isn't it? Like these beautiful, uh, these models are beautiful, and they're like begging for like really great paint jobs. But I think because the models are so great, even like just like a semi-rushed paint job still looks good because the model is good. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting, but highlighting every scale. You nope. don't highlight it. You're not. A, you're not a highlight person anyway. Nope. So yeah, our next video is going to be. It's our ten to ten. Was it ninety nine challenge, isn't it? Yeah, the nine. The nine to nine. Ninety nine challenge, um, which is can you paint an army in a day? Can you paint an army in a day? Oh, well, you have to find out. You have to find out. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. So I've got. Um, since from way back with Indomitus, I've got a, a neck, a small neck on which it's not mine. Uh, my partner was painting it up um, with her first like little dip into Warhammer, um, but gave up. Um, she gave up. So I stripped them. <laughs> <laughs> Start again. Um, yeah, it'll be really fun, and I think we'll have another army for content for the channel as well. So boarding actions is begging for. Some Necrons to join uh, join the force, and I think that maybe a potential campaign in the future involving a Necron team well, world would be very cool. In classic me style, I bought a, uh, a Void Dragon and the Sonic King. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. They're not they're not going to be in the ninety nine challenge though. No, absolutely not. They're begging they, for good paint jobs. They are. Yeah, I could. The not, Void Dragon is just. I could not paint that in a day, even if it was a rush. I just feel like it wasn't doing it justice. Also, the Silent King might be one of the worst miniatures I've assembled. Really? I didn't have fun. No. Void Dragon, though, one of like, the greatest hobby mysteries for me was solved building that. Like, yeah. how does that thing stay in the air? <laughs> the, build, the build for that is so clever. Yeah. Because um, you're works. like, well, how does all this like lightning join to him? But it's like the lightning, the blocks that it's always like, they always like, interlock. Mm. It's very clever. Um, yeah, super cool. Super cool. Whereas then the Silent King, I was just a bit like, why, 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 <laughs> why are you like this? The problem I have with the games, watch ne the Necron kits, like the new ones, they they look amazing, but the arms don't attach to anything. It's like the little. It's like they're too spindly. Yeah, but they're like you're not gluing the socket. You're gluing like the pipe that then sticks yeah. to the neck, and I'm like, yeah. no, 
Yeah. Especially when you've got the Silent King that's got the giant staff. You're like, that's not been held up by that little dot yeah, of glue. It's too difficult. Way too difficult. So I've finished the uh, Rune Lord Brass on these. I've got one left to do, but I can do that another time. I don't think I'm going to get one finished in time to do cool photos, but you can kind of see. I don't think so either. Yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? Because I think we both started with the assumption, or the ambition at least, that we'd get maybe get one done tonight, and we just we just won't. It's just there's just there as well. there's just so side many side by side. Yours, yours is very punchy in comparison to mine. <laughs> <laughs> children um, but yeah I'm, I'm, no. I'm, I'm dead chuffed with how, how these have come out um, I like, it's a solid foundation I think um, mm. for what I've got I mean it's not it's not too far from my testament I think what do we think compared to my testament it's got a bit more blue in how this one's ended up um, mm. I suppose it's the skin underneath as well isn't it yeah I think I, would think, I think I prefer that one that's, yeah. got, that's got a bit more depth. It's, it's, I've, man, so. I've managed to re retain a bit more. To be fair, I knocked that one out in like five minutes while yeah, I was sat sure. watching TV. That was just a, does this work? Whereas I've managed to, with a bit more care and attention, retain a lot of that purple. Yeah, which means really I don't cool. have to shade the skin. Yeah, um, no, super underneath. cool. Underneath, I mean, I've shaded all of the um, scales because mm. there's all those fancy lines. Um, yeah, could have gone with a streaking guy and wash, but maybe it would have been too dirty. Loves it, but cool. Uh, Look at the state of these. <laughs> I don't know, but you have to really. Hang on. Yeah. Look at that nonsense. Streaking grime. If your ears look like that. You need to worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, that all but concludes the super fun Seraphon Week challenge. Dinosaur Week. Is Put your hat back on over. for the finale. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Oh, mine's drunk. I've lost it. Thank you for joining us. Hang on. <laughs> it's, oh been a, it's, it's been a ride. We did it. Seraphon week. We have our Seraphon. Multiple, actually. Very cool. Woo! Um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe. Uh, we have an Element Games link. Go buy some dinosaurs of your own, because that's what real heroes do. Because it's Dino Week, baby! Dino Week, baby! Uh, thank you very much, and we'll... Good grief. See you later! Bye! <laughs> Stay in my hair. <laughs> no, well, you know what we need now? Just Chris Pratt, like. <laughs> That's your new Instagram picture there. <laughs> Charlie's Angels. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> God's sake. This right. is why we never get any videos done. We're too busy playing. Uh,